Occupational therapy is a rehabilitation profession that allows us to help people to do things that are most meaningful to them throughout the whole lifespan, such as getting dressed, taking care of your family, cooking meals, and playing. We're looking at the things that they need and want to do in which occupy their time, and that includes everything in your life from day to day that you don't even really think about. One thing that makes Hassan unique is the community. The students all know each other. We utilize small labs so that students get one-on-one -on -one instruction with their faculty. We have a lot of training and they give us a lot of opportunities like simulations and experiences in the community so we have a lot of practice before we even graduate. Husson's OT program uses a lot of experiential learning to help students practice the skills of being an occupational therapist. We provide students with the foundational knowledge and then we put that knowledge to the test, working with individuals in the community through simulations or through other interprofessional activities. Those activities help students practice the skills, reflect on how they did, and then make changes to become better each time they do it. We've had a couple kids come into our labs and we've done some intervention planning. It's one thing to read about all these things that children may experience for deficits or how they function, but then it's another to actually treat them. That's how we grow and that's how we learn because we're able to actually get practice and understand it better. I think it helps that the faculty have real world experience as they can bring a new perspective to the classroom. It's different to read something out of a textbook than it is to hear somebody's story. So it gives you a new perspective and makes you feel more confident that you'll be able to do it someday too. Working with other students, it usually is very supportive because we're all here to achieve the same goal. Definitely reach out to people and try to work in groups. I've found that to be a successful habit of mine, especially studying for exams and practicals. Students that graduate from our program have a master's in science in occupational therapy. We are fully accredited by ACO, which is the Accreditation Council for Occupational Therapy Education. It is a requirement for anyone who wants to become an occupational therapist to graduate from an accredited program. And what's unique about our program is that students are able to come in as freshmen in college, right from high school, and they don't need to reapply if they meet the academic requirements, which allows them to complete a master's degree in five years, which is very much a money saver. Students enter as a first year student they take two years of undergraduate coursework and then they jump into our professional phase, which is strictly OT courses, clinicals, to get them ready for that master's degree. OTs can work in a variety of settings, everything from a medical facility or clinic to a community-based setting like a school system or a program for individuals with disabilities or needs. As an OT, you're able to branch off into whatever career choice you want because there are so many options and you can get certified and specialized in so many different areas. Occupational therapy is definitely a growing industry. It's been estimated that there's about a 27% growth that's gonna occur in the next 10 years. And especially as the population ages, one of the things that we are very good at is helping people to be able to function as independently as possible and a lot of people these days who are starting to get to retirement age really want to age in place and they want to have a healthy older adulthood. Hassan has prepared me for my future career because they've helped me when I wanted to go into unknown territories, build my resume, reach out to clinics that I have interest in working in someday, and they gave me all the knowledge that I needed to be a future occupational therapist.